Let's see how many times it takes me to do this without fucking up. So hey guys, so this is going to be my review of the Nice Guys new movie from Shane Black and also starring Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe. Now uh, just before we get into this, I thought it would be helpful to explain who I am. This is my first video uh, on my new review channel and uh, I'm basically a writer and radio host from Ottawa. Um, I do movie reviews, music reviews, um, and occasionally other different art stuff like video games uh, when I have the time. And I thought what better way to kind of streamline some of my writing and um, audio stuff and try and also do uh, a video series on YouTube for it. So I figured this was the best way to do it. So uh, I guess without further ado, I'm going to jump into this. If you want to check out um, any of the other stuff I do, like my podcast, I do the Real Deal podcast with my friend Michael, who's an actor. Um, and I host a radio show uh, here in Ottawa. And I'll link all that in the bottom. And I might even put some stuff down here at the bottom of the video if I can properly edit that the first time around. The Nice Guys is, uh, yeah, as I said before, it is a, a new movie from Shane Black, who's also directed Lethal Weapon. Uh, he's the force behind Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and also uh, Iron Man 3. And yeah, this is definitely a lot more into his earlier stuff. Uh, really focusing on Lethal Weapon and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang with this movie. Uh, you definitely get a lot of overtones of the script of Kiss Kiss Bang Bang when you're watching this movie. The script is absolutely hilarious and really fun just and engaging it feels um, more like you know you get with like Tarantino movies and other movies by Shane Black uh, when he's working with Joel Silver you just get these really great pieces of dialogue that don't seem too unnecessarily like movie like they seem like people might actually say is but they just seem slightly beyond that in a way that like makes them kind of memorable um, especially in certain scenes, Russell Crowe delivers some great lines about, you know, if you're doing the job, I understand that, you know, you can beat me up and everything like that, but don't piss me off. Um, there's just some really great dialogue there and a lot of the chemistry, which is, I think the next thing I'm going to go to is the chemistry between Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe in this movie is just uh, spectacular. Uh, they totally nailed it. Um, I've kind of so-so on Russell Crowe before watching this movie, but seeing him and Gosling together on screen, um, was really something that uh, just worked totally perfectly. Found Ryan Gosling, I'm usually behind him in any movie that he's really in, um, but I was really rooting for Russell Crowe in this one as well, and I was pleasantly surprised by that. Um, I found they were also totally great on their own. Each of them had a really interesting um, character uh, that would just you know be on their own in these scenes, and each of them seemed to really hold their own Especially Russell Crowe, I think, more than Ryan Gosling um, in his own scenes, where Ryan Gosling's character was a little more um, kind of this deadbeat who was just getting by and trying to help his daughter. Um, and this goes to my next point, actually, where the daughter, uh, played by Angori Rice, actually ended up stealing kind of the show as like the si any of the side characters, um, where she basically became like the third lead of the movie. Um, really kind of doing the job for Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe in many of the scenes. The humor just keeps running, even some of the action sequences, they have a lot of great visual humor, like going to pass a gun and it ends up flying out the window. Just a lot of um, quick stuff that just comes at you really quickly, you're not really expecting it. Um, but it always seems to work, this movie's strength is it never really seems to fall flat at any point um, throughout the entire thing. And uh, they're, they really often like naturally implemented into any scene that they're thrown in and never really feels like ham-fisted and there's really rarely any moment where you're just kind of sitting there thinking okay go to the next scene the overall plot of the movie is really great uh i found the the twists and kind of turns that the story takes not necessarily all twists but um really seem to keep you guessing a little bit um and don't really necessarily go where you expect it to and uh, I, I generally found that the story was you know didn't seem secondary as it does in a lot of these um, kind of buddy cop movies and I generally felt invested in what was going to happen next and from start to finish it really felt in, except in some rare cases with the ending of the movie um, which I'll get to in just a bit uh, does tend to like kind of fall into the trapping of being a little Hollywood. Now going to one of the other characters who I was kind of mixed on throughout the entire movie was Amelia, who is the uh, girl that the two titular nice guys, Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe, are chasing throughout the entire movie. Now Amelia is kind of better in this movie as a mysterious character. There's nothing against uh, the actress um, Margaret Coyley, but uh, I just found the more you kind of got to know her character, the less you kind of enjoyed it. Um, the, one of the later goons, uh, I believe his name is Johnny Boy, 
or John Boy, uh, played by Matt Bomer, is really excellent to see on screen. The second he's on screen, you, you know he's kind of a villain. He's got the look to him. Um, but he is just so talented, you almost wonder why they didn't call him in almost immediately, um, considering how formidable he is against the two. Uh, he's so good at times, he's actually invincible compared to the other, uh, to Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling, to the other two uh, guys in this movie. And in fact, like invading death from a grenade, which is pulled for at least 30 seconds, and then magically disappears off of him. So, in summation, uh, there's lots of great characters in this movie. Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe uh, hold their own together and on their own and uh, really drive the whole movie. Obviously, it is their movie, movie but uh, the supporting cast with uh, Rice is really great. She ends up being one of your favorite characters by the end of the movie. Uh, some of the villains and some of the characters like Amelia tend to kind of be hit or miss. Um, Amelia tends to uh, do the opposite of Rice and actually kind of fall apart uh, the more that she shows up in the movie. Um, but overall, it doesn't really hurt the movie that much as she doesn't actually have that much time on screen. Um, looking at the setting, they really captured the 70s perfectly in this movie. And uh, a lot of the um, script in this movie is just super hilarious and the action is super fun um, and f even funny in itself at times uh, with the way that both Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe are just super physical in this movie. Uh, so overall, I think this movie uh, is going to be holding the first place ranking for a while now for me. I can't even think of a movie that's coming out that's going to really knock this out of the park. Um, unless, the, once again, 10 Color Field Lane blows my mind. Um, but I think it, with that said, with some of, the, some of the things that are holding it back, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. And uh, maybe on repeat viewings, it might get a little bit of a boost. So that's it for me. Once again, you can check my uh, podcast, my radio show, and everything I write uh, down under this video. You can like and subscribe if you want to do that. I hate hearing myself say that. It's my first time doing a video. But yeah, if you uh, want to do that, you can send this to your friends. Uh, you know, Let me know uh, something I can improve on if you have any tips for me. I'm totally open. This is the first time doing this, so I am definitely open to hearing anything you can suggest. So uh, yeah, you can check, uh, I'm gonna try to throw some graphics up on screen, so I don't know if they'll be around me anywhere here, but uh, I might try to line those up with where my fingers went. Uh, so that's it for me. My name is uh, Owen once again, and thanks for watching.